So basically, katulad na narinig ko kay sir kanina, English na, hindi kailangan ng English, ano? I was sir, I, I heard uh, sir Ruben, tama ba? Ruben. Said, uh, he's going to use a programming language when at least one day or a few weeks, he can write a simple little code, hello world. So basically, I started uh, Angular way back two months ago. Because because of uh, what you call this Angular 2, there's a pro I know there will be a problem. Then, that's why I said, oh, thank you, I didn't uh, push through the project for Angular. So there's Angular 4. And I know there there, there will be still another subsequent uh, subsequent version. So what I did, I'm just uh, reading oh, how to use Angular. Okay, it's some project. And then for just to, you know, uh, get my week fit. Uh, I mean, my feet wet, so at least I can create some simple project, something like that. But I didn't dig deep yet in Angular because I don't want a headache. <laughs> so, yeah. so I started uh, Angular because I'm going to transfer to a new company which is we're going to use Angular. So that's why I started learning Angular. So the reason why I'm here, I'm just going to share to you guys who among you are first timer, you first timer is going to use Angular. First time that heard. So basically, you guys, you guys are many. So for for those who has experience, help me later. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, since uh, I started using Angular, uh, I, I fell in love with it because it teaches me how to decouple things when it comes to web development. So basically, when I was uh, working with Angular JS, it's quite different. It's uh, hard to make uh, you know uh, reusable components. So that's why when uh, they released Angular 1.5, I think, they released component-based. So I started using that also. So basically, what is Angular? So Angular is a platform. It's not just a framework because you can use it uh, for building websites, mobile, and desktop using Electron. I think I have a sticker. <laughs> using Electron. So. Basically, it's not just ordinary framework. So, yeah, it was. It helps the developer actually to uh, make our life easier, especially the Angular CLIs. Have you ever uh, saw that the ng, the power of the ng something? So, good. So basically, the one that I'm going to show to you right now is how to create a very simple uh, Angular project, just to you know start and to get your feet wet with Angular. So maybe you're going to, you know, use it with your uh, future projects. Hopefully, use it. So basically, let's start with Angular architecture. So think about Angular is a building blocks. So when we say building blocks, you know, there's a different set of blocks that you're going to build. So here are the building blocks of Angular: the modules, components, directives, and routing and services. So basically. The modules are contained with routes, components, and services, and more. There are some third parties, etc. Sabi nyo mabilis ako ha, kasi English chop. Sabi nyo, if I'm so fast, tell me. So basically, if you have a basic Angular application, which is going to be look like this, whoever uh, tried, uh, who's a PHP developer, you know the include, you're going to create a HTML for nav navigations and then you're going to include. So basically that's what happened here. But in Angular, it helps us and it teaches us and it forces us to create component-based applications. So in this uh, sample, inside the module it has a uh, routing or routing. So it has a routing, which uh, later I will explain it. And there are services and directives built-in directives, or you can also create your own directives. 
who, who uses Angular JS here? Angular JS. How about the others? JQuery. Yeah, JQuery. JQuery. Ah, uh, what you call that? React. By Facebook. Vue.js? Trump? <laughs> Only now? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, How about one? the others? Oh, no, J. No, oh, no. The others. <laughs> the others. No, no, no JS. No, no JS. No JS. No, 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 this is a basic example of a website inside of Angular. So we're going to... I'm going to show a later demo of that. Just a demo. So components. Component contains templates and logic and data forming part of a DOM tree. Basically, whether you like it or not, we're going to form a DOM tree of different kinds of components. Because in your components, main, main component, you're going to have another component, and your another component will have another component. So basically, you're building a DOM tree, a hierarchy. This is not a network marketing, okay? <laughs> Binary. <laughs> so, directives. So, directives allows you to attach behaviors, whatever behaviors you want, in elements in the DOM. So, this is a basic example of uh, built-in directives in Angular. So, for those Angular developers, like uh, AngularJS developers, it's a different syntax, but uh, it's quite fun to use and it's much readable. And routing. So Angular route, router enables navi to navigate from one view to another view. You can have multiple uh, routes and uh, nested routes. So, but in this kind of uh, situation or demo, just a basic simple routing. Is it fast? Ah. Or, or, or you understand? Or, okay. Okay. Oh, kita tanggih natin. Oh. Irapan na. Remember later, ah, we will have a quiz. <laughs> oh. okay. So basically, before you use, going to use the routing, you need to import the router module and routes. So there are some, uh, that's why earlier, Devlin, uh, the TypeScript, that's, more, that's important also to learn because you need to learn how to use, import, how to import a module and a class and a services. And services. A service may serve as your business logic or business layer and data layer. It, encaps and it encapsulates your data and logic implementation. So it depends on your usage. It can also be your helper. So it depends. So this is a very, very interesting. The injectable, which is, it says provided in. So basically, if you're, if you're familiar with dependency injection. Dependency injection. So, in this, you don't need to inject on, on, on the main module the uh, data layer service because when you created that service, it's automatically by default created the provided in group. So basically, it's, it knows that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm within this module, so you can use me anytime. So because I tried to delete that and then put none, and then inject a data layer service to the app module and it works and then I remove it doesn't work. So later I'll show. It's nice. So things you need before you start. Just do no .js, no .js and VS Code. Who's using VS Code? Nice, nice. How about the others? Visual Studio Code. Sublime. Who's using Sublime? Ay, Sublime. Ah, Sublime. 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 After installing it, so again, you need to download the Node.js and the Visual Studio Code for your ID. So after installing it, if you want to check your version of your uh, NPM and Node, just 
do the npm dash dash version and for the node node dash dash version <laughs> so creating a uh, angular project is very simple so create a folder in any directory inside your computer and then make sure you're inside of it and then just type code that and then it will open so open the terminal which is control table then if you want to check if you're using the updated uh, version of angular just type ng-v so it will show this uh, information of what you're using type script rxjs and everything there's there's uh, the information and then to create a uh, angular project just type ng new project name and then in my case it's uh, ng new intro so it will generate uh, the files for a few minutes depending on your internet because it will also download the node modules and everything that is every dependencies that it needs so it will be look like this so this is the uh, project files of angular after creating it so if it, I have some uh, slides here that if, if the time will allow us, I will maybe share a little bit of for what are those uh, file folders. But uh, basically, I already had the, the, the slides there. So if you want to grab 100 pesos each, so <laughs> <laughs> So let's run the project. Not now. So, <laughs> To run the application, just type ng serve dash new or ng serve. If you're going to use ng serve, you need to navigate the HTTPS uh, localhost 4200. So just use dash o, so it will automatically open in the browser. So these guys over here are the files that, uh, what you call this, uh, separated and bundled by this amazing webpack. So if you want to learn more about webpack, uh, the link is here. So you can also learn that. But basically, it does the great things and, to, and break it into chunks. So after running a project, voila, there's your under webpack. So thank you. <laughs> so yes. So to show you, uh, may, may most of the job. Uh, <coughs> so basically, I'm just going to show you a very simple demo. So I'm just going to show you that Angular is very maybe easy to learn. It depends on your time and your effort you're going to to give to learn Angular. But uh, on my end, I'm not a pro with Angular, but I created the demo three hours ago. I know, three hours this morning while working. I cannot open my laptop in my company, so in my in, in the office, so just for this demo, for the demo purposes. So it's quite nice, but it's not fancy. So, mabilis ba? Oh. Mabilis ba? Sapo lang. May, may naiintindi na naman. Pwede na gumawa, no? NG. Pwede na. So basically, let's uh, run through this uh, Angular project file. So, the end-to-end -end or E2, E2E source directory, which is a different topic because it's for unit testing which is very important uh, it will allow us to you know create the logic first and be testable instead of instead of uh, creating uh, code right away mm -hmm. because we filipinos love to code but we don't love to test no. <laughs> <laughs> we hate testing we hate testing yeah. but again it's hard it's hard but uh, if me too it's hard but again if we're going to put into practice it will be much easier so protractor 
the configuration, the final configuration test framework. This time, it is protector, the end-to-end -end tool for key-to-e testing. Para lang alam lang natin kung ano yung mga project files doon kahit pa paano para hindi lang tayo didirekta doon sa source tapos punta tayo at magpapulog ka agad. Para at least alam lang natin kahit pa paano. Hindi ko pa rin naman siya kabisado pero at least alam ko kung para saan yung files na yun. Hindi ko siya madelete. Ano ba ito? Delete mo ka agad. So node modules, basically the most important folder also because all the dependencies are sitting there. So I cannot uh, cut all the node modules because it's too long. <laughs> The files are so many. And the source directory. Basically, we are going to sit over here and work on that directory. All of the applications that we need to you know, uh, use is there for the application to do. So the app directory, basically the place that you can see the first uh, application or HTML, which compose includes the components, modules, services, guards, and pipes. So, last, so basically, you can use the environment uh, like this. There's a two environment, production and then the test or the dev environment. Production. So, you can use this way. So, it depends to you. For DevOps. Yeah, for DevOps. Thing. And the index.html, the prettiest html that I've ever seen. <laughs> so, the uproot. So, you can change anything there. It, it's up to you. But, at the end of the day, it's your design and it's your goal. So. And the main, the TS. The bootstrapper of the Angular. So, basically, uh, if you're going to create an application, the most uh, normally used to bootstrap is the app module, which is the main module in the application. And Angular.json, formerly, formerly Angular-CLI. So if you have your Angular 5 project, if you try to do the ng-update space at Angular-CLI, it will be replaced by Angular.json instead of Angular-CLI. It will be removed. And package.json contains information about all the dependencies of your application. These files are also managed in PMYARN and etc. And node modules as well. All the downloaded modules. So if you want to learn Angular yeah. more deeply, when I was reading their uh, documentation, it helps me a lot as well. Because before I'm a, a, you know, a video oh. guy, I just want to um, watch the <laughs> video and then... <laughs> Post, copy the code, wait, but understanding the, the document will help us more to understand what is Angular. Yeah. Okay, na. <laughs> so I'll just show you the demo, uh, the basic demo that I created. Demo. Mabilis ba? Mm. Mabilis ba? Hindi sakto lang. Hindi understand the box. Okay. Kasi kung sakto lang, gagawin ko ng vlog yun. <laughs> so, close muna natin. So, this is my uh, basic. Okay, na po. Ali pa rin. Only, only. Okay. Yeah. So, let's 
to run the project ng search dash o to run the project okay pakita mo na natin pala so this is the basic into to angular You know I hate CLIs because I'm a you know Microsoft lover and driver. And then when I encounter this guy, oh what is that? Ah, because this is not the project for the intro. familiar with two-way binding, right? Data binding. Who is not yet fami familiar with two-way binding? Don't be shy. Raise your hand. Two-way binding. Why? Ah. You're not familiar? Familiar. <laughs> not fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just uh, show you the routing, which is, as you can see, it says dashboard. So when I click post, it will change post words. Then data binding built-in directives, and then using services. So basically, uh, this application is a very basic application that we'll, we will learn a lot. First, the routing. Uh, we, uh, the, the, this framework was built, or the other frameworks was built for single-page application. Like uh, the experience of desktop, you don't need to refresh just to get the new data. Just hit any button, it will you know show. It doesn't like uh, the old times uh, websites, but now you can, as you can see, the page doesn't refresh. So let's start with data binding or two-way binding. So what it does is it binds together with the property or model inside your this uh, input text. So if I change, it's change also. Magic. <laughs> so this one is a longhand two-way binding. The reason why I put it longhand, I'm going to show later behind behind the the couple behind that. But it's uh, do the same thing. And also the one-way binding, which is from your model, it will bind to any property or any HTML tag. So in this case, I just put there in the input. So let's see the code for the two-way binding. Or the binding. Papa, kita may mga magulang. So this is the basic as Devlin says earlier for the typing or the script. So this is the one-way binding that I created. The property. And the two-way binding as well. So in the HTML file, the difference between this uh, two-way two binding, the long, long hand and the 
shorthand is they both have ng model but in this ng model or the current uh, ng model it's, it's what we call banana in a box so it's not familiar raise your hand it's okay <laughs> don't be shy don't be shy don't be shy don't be shy, <laughs> be shy. so what is that called <coughs> what do you call that huh? interpol interpol oh, interpol Interpolation. Ah, interpolation. Interpolation. Nice. Interpolation. Uso na kasi to sa lahat, eh, no? Pati sa, ano, ano, no? ah. Sa Laravel, no? Ah. meron na rin yun. Java. Yeah, Java. <coughs> oh, Java. And the other sample is uh, pipe. So, pipe. if I'm going to remove this, basically, it will show okay. So if I'm going to also remove all of this, the pipe. So that's the beauty of the pipe. So if you want to dig deep and learn on that, uh, so I just use this format. Because I love there's a second. Every second counts. <laughs> so. Is it easy to read? Is it easy to read, guys? Yes. Use Angular. <laughs> so, I created the function for the remove and also the uh, property of array, array property of users, which is, let's see the back end of it. So, this is the date for the demo purposes, of course. It's not the best practice. I don't know why for the demo. <laughs> so, this is the array of users. So, there's a three users. And then I also did my style later, a property. I'll show you later uh, what it does. And also, I have a question. There's an ng on init, and then there's a construct on. Who will run first? Constructor, constructor. Who's the ng on init? Constructor, it's a sila sa So constructor. So basically, it, it, they created that so that our constructor is not bloated of information. But this is the first one who's going to render because of the dependency injection as well. So I created this uh, basic, you can, uh, this basic uh, function. So creating a function is the standard. You don't need to type a function. So, it will have an error. So, that's cool. You just need to specify your function name. And then, you can put if it's a void, void or not. But it will automatically determine. If we're going to remove that. And over it, loading, loading, <laughs> void. There, it's automatically. But for uh, readability purposes, I do suggest it will not going to kill you to add the void. And you know for the ability purposes that you know that oh this is this doesn't return any value. Instead of uh, holding it what's this function. Because sometimes, you know, in, in a function there's a bunch of code. But of course don't do that. So remove like this one. It says void. But at the end I can I can still put void. And then get user ID, so I, I incremented it. Charing gun. And then the toggle. So basically it's just a basic uh, functionalities and functions that works. So if I'm going to use service, there will be a little bit change. Because I said earlier, you can use that to encapsulate your data and some logics. Of, of your application. So, it does the same thing. Remove, remove. So, they are the same. But to show you again, going back, I didn't show this. Uh, as you can see, there's also an ngif. So, the tagel is also a built in directive. And also, ng style. There's also an ng class, but I don't have time to create a sample. but there's also ng class if you wrap all your uh, designs 
and they want it uh, dynamically or change it uh, on whatever you want you can also use, use that so basically like this one any style uh, you can use uh, an object and then pass whatever whatever style you need to change like uh, for example for this one color blue so if i'm going to change this to pink dilaw syempre wala yun pink pink so wala pink ah te joke lang yun kasi nandito tayo dahan we are in the other page kasi so there's the pink i don't know is it pink yeah ma mink mink so and the one the property that i created inside which is the my style property you can also do this which is there so it's a little bit messy if you're going to put everything inside the components so that's why there's a service that maybe a help, helper basically for us to you know uh, sep separate things out or yes sir basically it's a uh, javascript so going back when we're going to use service how does it uh, look like So this is my service compared to this one. So it's much readable, I think. Is it or no? <laughs> so where, where's the service? Service, show me. Where's the service? So basically, I just remove the uh, uh, data on it, and then I encapsulate here everything that supposed to be used for uh, this data access. Like this one, you can use private. So if you're going to see, so you guys, you said you're already familiar with dependency injection. So let's see. So if we're going to call this data layer service that so there are only uh, three methods that are available and one property available but if you're going to look at inside this service there's a get user ID but it doesn't uh, show so it we encapsulated the uh, other uh, logics and behavior of our application. So even these uh, users, you cannot access. But if you want to access, just remove that. It's automatically public. So even the date. So add user, I just basically simple add the username. There's a different, uh, what you call this, uh, tirada to make this work but for this demo purposes like this one get users basically I just remove the private there it will basically make public properties so automatic uh, auto, on default is public yes and remove users so there you go so which do you prefer Service using service or without service? service. With service, of course. It, it's much uh, readable and presentable. So, going back. So this one, with this one, the one that I told you, this navigation, it's also a different component. And this uh, inner, what do you call this inner content? <laughs> so basically, uh, that is Angular. Uh, if I suggest if you're going to learn it uh, deeply, you're going to love it. 
and you're going to use to like to use I mean you're going to use to it using it because it's easy for me that's uh, what I heard you if you're not uh, if a programming language can learn it one day yeah. then I will use that <laughs> so, so actually yes basically it's, it's okay for me I don't know with others and for clarification maybe there's going to a question which is better Vue.js, React, or Angular. Actually, it does not all the same thing. Why? If I'm going to tell you that create also the same application, you're going to create the same application and then same output. So basically, it does the same thing. But sometimes, there are some, you know, uh, advantage and disadvantage. But at the end of the day, yung sakay masaya, ano gamitin nyo? It's not uh, about this. Hindi naman tayo nakabox. Para mahaling masyado yung Angular, ako tinitignan ko rin si QJS ngayon. Mukhang mas madali siyang gamitin. <laughs> at hindi siya papalit-palit. But at the end of the day, medyo natuwa ko yung Angular eh. So, yeah. so I hope medyo natutuwa kayo kahit pa paano sa basic na yun. So, yeah. Any basic question? Hindi, <laughs> 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 kinakabang kasi ako si 2 months pa lang ako talaga nag- almost two months na Angular. Pero, yun nga, nat natuwa ako sa kanya eh. So, laruin ko na lang, sabi ko. Yes, sir. Can you show us the difference between between directives and services? Teka lang, sir, amayin. Ayot lang kasi. Okay. Ang difference niya when it comes to code. Yung isa, you recommend no services. Yes, sir. In terms of performance, sir, Performance, it depends to the logic you apply to the service because basically services are just helper class. So it's like uh, you, you're extending your code outside and you're using it. So it depends how it, did you apply the logic on the service. So it doesn't affect any performance. And if you're going to also to dig deep in TypeScript, who's familiar with generics? So basically, there is no C# -sharp developer here. Because if you're going, if you're familiar with generics, I mean C# -sharp, that's why I also fell in love with this because of the TypeScript. So I'm a C# -sharp developer as well because of the generics. So it's nice to use generics, but ah, malapag ako sa level nito. Medyo malalim pa yun, pero it's nice to use. So basically, hindi pala naman natin sa atin. Bigyan ng T-shirt yun. Ah, mamaya, yung tanong ko. Yung tanong ko. Ay, yung tanong ko. Ay, yung tanong ko. Ang mga kasagot. May dalawa ka rin na. Sino ba yun? Sa mga bago. Medyo may hindi ba nalinawan. Para at least, ano natin. Kala na nakatitig na na. Wala na. 